My name is Doug Cass. I'm a member of the Macomb Gratiot Valley Model Engineers. I'm member number 169, and I've been a member of the organization since 1995. My name is Dennis Kane. I've been a member of the Gratiot Valley, I call it the Railroad Club, since uh, 1976. Name's Michael Rudben. I've been a member of the club now for about two years. These are all members of the Macomb Gratiot Valley Model Engineers, or as members call it, the Gratiot Valley Railroad a local models train club in Mount Cummins, Michigan. Right now, they're having a meeting, but usually they're fixing, tinkering, and maintaining their nearly 3,000 square foot model railroad. But what draws this group together specifically for model railroading? Well, first of all, you, get, you gotta try to understand a little bit about the concept of, of, of model railroading, okay? It's been around for decades okay it goes back to the turn of the century actually so pe people have been modeling trains for a long time in fact the Gratiot Valley Railroad has been around since 1974 building portable railroad layouts for shows and events like their annual swap and shop since then they have grown to build a massive model railroad loosely modeling after the 1940s and 50s steam to diesel transition period of railroading in the United States each section of the layout is centered on local cities of the Great Lakes region of Michigan, like the town of Bruce Hollow, loosely based on the city of Mount Clemens, the industrialized city of Warren, featuring factories, refineries, and countryside, and the Summit, a fictitious town sitting at the peak of the layout's mountainous landscape. And each region has a story and history of its own. The main line continues around the corner here. We come into the area known as Harrison, West Harrison and Harrison. This is where the largest train station is on the layout. A lot of little, little uh, scenes they put in there. It's another part of uh, Warren. We've got some truck on, trailer on flat car loading area there. You can get some complicated switching here because the train that switches this area also continues up the mountain to around the corner to uh, Bruce Hollow. Yeah, this is the town of uh, Bruce Hollow, loosely based on Mount Clemens. This is our resort spa. The mineral baths of Mount Clemens. Well, we got mineral baths up here. A lot of people are modelers, but you don't know they're modelers because they, they don't advertise it a lot. So when I see people uh, now, and um, I would ask them, you know, what do you have as a hobby? Do you have a hobby? What do you do in your spare time? You know, some people golf, some people bowl, some people uh, are carpenter, you know, woodworkers and that. They're photographers. Uh, and surprisingly, a lot of people I meet uh, say they're model railroaders. But why do these people, from retired teachers, electricians, and bankers to local students, gather in an old music shop every Monday night to tinker, repair, and maintain a model railroad? Uh, the one thing about a, uh, an organization, when you're a member of an organization, nobody's an expert in everything. So um, you feed off of each other's resources and skills and you learn new skills and you learn how to adapt. You learn new tips and tricks in the hobby. Great bunch of guys down here. You know, like Doug said, you always learn something new from somebody. And I try to impart some of my knowledge to some of the younger members, but, and some of the older members too. Somebody's always got a trick you can learn. And uh, what else you want me to say? <laughs> other train junkies. We could talk shop if we wanted to. The camaraderie of having a you know, and fellowship that goes along with an organization too. Getting together with all the guys. I mean, there's some nights when you just wanna talk and there's some nights when you wanna get something done, but it's always a lot of fun. So. And that's what the, the hobby is about. It's, it's about uh, learning about the skills of hobbying 
and at the same time uh, learning about people. So, Members have been growing the Gratiot Valley Railroad for 45 years, and it doesn't look like they're going to stop anytime soon. For members like Doug, Michael, and Dennis, being a part of the Gratiot Valley Railroad is more than just a hobby. It's about spending time with good friends and being a part of a community that is passionate about the same thing they are, model railroading.